So what are we doing today? Well, before my dinner gets here, because oh, no, I, I'm not I'm not cooking today. <laughs> I am actually going to make a lovely pair of loungy pants because I love loungy pants. But when I cut this fabric before my wall <laughs> before my before um my fabric mark fabric gets here because there's delayed shipping. I will be using this fabric for the hashtag joy viv so blues because I discovered there's blue lines in the fabric. And that qualifies so <laughs> so qualifies that it made me happy today. Because I'm happy today. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being happy. Um, so yes, I'm going to put this on the machine. Now you guys know if you've watched me so long enough that what I like to do if I don't want to use pins to hold it, I will literally hold it together like that. And I change out my fabric my fabric my thread which will match this because there's also green in it there's purple khaki and green and blue it's almost like singing red and yellow purple green purple green <laughs> so i have this back on my serger setting i had it on a different setting you guys know this dress it's comfy so um we're going to do this i'm going to try to put these pants together like before well most of it together before the delivery guy gets here who has some snow melting where you live i'm not used to putting the smaller bobbins of thread up here i'm used to putting them in the other spot right here right here um but this this keeps knocking the holder like bumping it loose so um i decided to put it where i put the big one so let me get this going and there it goes with that again okay anyway let me get this together on the side because I'm also going to add in like a small pocket into the pant because I just feel like I want a small pocket in the pant because I also cut that matching shirt which is a whole other video oh and then a whole other other video is something that I let my lovely Janelle from Janelle's Glam Boutique pick the next so and I had the fabric and she wanted me to do uh, like a, a genie pant which is what I have the other fabric for. I just have more excuses to update my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? We all have our goth in us. And it's like golf pants. Anyway. <laughs> Look at that. You guys know I love to show you the clean hemline right here. Because that is beauty miss. It may look like this on the inside. But what's on the inside holding this together is key because when I cut this fabric look I'm not gonna lie I have hips and when I went to cut this I was like realizing oh no I made them into skinny jean pants yeah I made them into skinny leg that wouldn't fit my hips so that's why I sew on the extra fabric which then gives me the opportunity to inlay a what a pocket because we love pockets like i said before if you don't like pockets i don't know about you <laughs> i do not know about you if you do not love a good pocket um yeah i mean pockets are excellent uh so let me get the other side of this done and because oh, come on look at now that we are, I know I'm wearing something else, right? Cold. Um, it's warming up outside, though. <laughs> During the day, at night, not so much. So, again, 
clean cabinet. Yeah, I'm just a clean him. I'm freak. Um, and I'm glad that there's this extra fabric, like, right here. Because that's going to come in handy for waistbanding. I'm not snippy that off. And I have the pockets right here getting ready to uh, attach. And then sew, you know. And I just think that this is one of the most adorable gingham fabrics or plaid and the fact that it has that blue I'm so happy about that oh yeah yeah I'm just happy to have specific fabrics right now and trying to make the time pass until I get my fabric mark fabrics yes I hope they get to ship those out soon, like before the 14th. <laughs> no matter, I'm running low on fabric anyway. So, yeah. Um, so, let me get the... Do I want to do the pockets first or the waistband? I might go ahead and just, like, pin the pockets, sew those on. Because you know how I do this. Um... I don't really pin them on if I don't have to. If I don't have to. I don't do that. Um, so what I might actually do with this this time is make sure that I am aligned with where it needs to be. Take your outer part of the pocket. Go like that. Just make sure it's aligned right about... This is kind of cute though. I, I like this um, so far because it kind of goes back to sort of an, an 80s thing. Have you ever watched Pretty in Pink? Ducky always wore like some funny um, plaid thing. Her little friend Ducky. He always, hold on, I gotta get my scissors. Anyway, her friend Ducky always wore some funny plaid garment and, you know, this kind of reminded me of that. And I'm like, crap, this is pretty in pink. Um, so, yes, what I'm going to do is go ahead. I don't like these extra threads just dangling around. Even though everything will be sewn. It's irritating to me. Um, and I don't really like it. So, what I like to do is if I'm going to do it a specific way to lay this back what I will do is lay it back and then we will have that clean line there so let me get all four pocket sides sewn on and then we will sew the waistbanding on to both sides and sew this puppy together and hopefully it'll fit because pants now I will tell you real quick something that I have done before if a garment didn't fit me after I was done sewing it, what I do is I select a viewer, smaller size than me, and offer the garment to them. That is what I do. It's just a thing. But it is something that I do. Um, because sometimes I have people say, oh my gosh, that's so nice. I wish I had that. And then if it didn't fit me, then that's exactly what I do. So, like I said, let me get these. This this one, this is super nice. And uh, I'll bring you closer to that. Um, this, I think, came out nice with the hems. Matching hemis. Hemis. <laughs> it's not a car. A Hemi is a car, <laughs> and I don't even drive it, I know that. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> get this other side done. Let me tell you something. All that scrap fabric that's left over, when you need to do waistbanding and that's all you got left, that really helps with making waistbanding, even though I had to extend this piece that... There's nothing wrong with taking your scrap fabrics to make that waistbanding piece because 
every little bit of fabric that you use counts for something in your creation. And sometimes it makes you feel a little more creative, especially when you get those creative juices going. Uh, <laughs> and you know, you have that little extra on the ends. Now, that is the reason why I did not want to cut those off. I wanted to make sure that it was a specific way because I'm going to leave those on. Um, perhaps. Yeah, I'm going to leave those on because once I tuck the pocket back, and that's going to look fabulous. Yes, it is. At least I think it is. Like I said, if these don't fit me, I will find a viewer. Um, after I do, like, a lookbook for all my stuff um, for this. And, um, yeah. If it doesn't fit me right, I will find somebody. Um, so let me get the other waistbanding piece soon together. We are in the home stretch. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. Although I might have to spend another bobbin. I hope there's enough of this thread left to do that. I really do. Because this is turning out so cute that I'm excited to get this so completed. So that it's so complete. So, in puns, they can be funny. So, let's get to this side, hoping that we have just enough to finish the sides of the pants around the pocket. Yes, because that'll be great, right? Get rid of some of this loose thread. I don't like loose threads hanging around. I don't have a thing about that. I never leave a loose thread hanging around. It's like annoying people. You know, I always had people, and I never figured this out, I always had people jealous of me when growing up, right? I never knew why. I still... I never saw myself as better than anyone. But I was picked on in school. But you know what? <laughs> some karma hit some of those people. Mm hmm. School bullies. Karma got them. For the most part. Some of them are in prison. Some of them had committed atrocious. Uh, crimes, and they were talking to the about me. It's like, you know what? I don't understand people like that, you know? I just don't. Um, I was kept to myself for the most part. And I think that that's why I decided to improve my art skills and skills of my uh, through the years because what I basically had was myself and my skills and you know what though that was not a bad thing for me uh, what is going on with this sort of weird thread happening thing there you ever have like that happen yeah hold on let me fix this well, they are done. They would fit better if it wasn't for my chunky thighs. So, again, if I have something that, like, fits up over the legs, great pockets on them. Um, which means this pair, I love these. These are so freaking cute. So, I will find a viewer that... Can fit these in the leg. I have thick legs and I can't help that. Um, they're not fat, they're muscle from seizures. Yeah, that's my only downside. Thick muscle. Some of this thread came on the outside just from the, the material, but they are cute. I like them 
and it's kind of got like that gothic pizzazz right there with that metal panel. And I laid these panels in on the side here thinking that they would fit better. But like I said, they're cute except for my thigh. It's the only problem. You know, if it wasn't for that, they would go up all the way on me. But they do not. And I like something that covers this gut. That's my leftovers from when my gut used to be down here. <laughs> my gut used to be down here, and now it's up here. That's a lot of weight loss. So, um, anyway, guys, let me sit down and talk to you. Like I said, they're just, they're super cute pants. I will just have to find a viewer with super skinny legs. <laughs> right? Um, I'm not really worried about it. I have some red material that I cut. It's over there. Um, that if you guys remember, I showed you, like, the animal clothing for Rindy Ray's little jelly. It's a stuffy named Joey. Um, I still have a lot of that left. And that has blue in it. So this cute pair of pants with the blue striping in it you can see that right there this qualifies i ran that by viv this does qualify and i think they're adorable i really do so anybody really wants to see where that blue line is in there 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 it is there's the blue line So anyway, you're not staring at lines too long because I have to get some sleep. So I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I have some more sewing to do. Tomorrow's sew is not going to be the other pants made out of gingham um, or plaid, whichever verbiage you choose um i will be doing a uh well by the time you watch the video it'll be the same day as this video um i have some of my viewers select you know like the ones i like talk to all the time um because they you know you interact with me so, what I do is I have them choose what they would like to see me sew next. So, look forward to that because I have something interesting and I'm making sure that I'm doing wide leg pants for a reason. I'm a girl with a wide thigh. Yeah, I'm a girl with a wide thigh. So, anyway guys, I will see you. For the next one. And so on. Good night.